wasn't talking to you. Quite often, when Jesus refers to his disciples, he's not just referring to the twelve around him. He's referring to his disciples down the ages. I believe he is referring oh, to oh, me. Okay. And quite often, when Jesus spoke to his twelve disciples, he was speaking to his twelve disciples. I believe everything Jesus... How do you know? No, I right, believe that that. everything How Jesus... How do you know when he was talking to his disciples and when he wasn't? I believe that everything Jesus said to his disciples can be spoken to me now and has absolute relevance to me now. Really? All of his parables, all of his sayings, I believe they contain the truth of God for me to follow and learn about now. Really? Yes. You follow the teachings of Jesus? I fail. Which <laughs> teaching of Jesus do you follow? Yeah, I follow the teaching. I follow the teachings of Jesus. So what do you teach? To love one another, to worship God, to honour your father and mother. Most of them. What did Jesus do? Jesus, when Jesus came along, he was not the Messiah people had been expecting. They were not expecting someone to come along. Why not? Because, they were, um, because at that time they were expecting the Messiah to be something sort of military. Why were they expecting that? Because they misinterpreted parts of, of the Old Testament. Why did you do that? Because when you read the New Testament in the light of Jesus, it's so clear that it's pointing to him. So when you talk about so who's the warrior spoken about in the Old Testament? Who's going to happen? That Jesus didn't do? I believe that these were more military verses would be referring to the end of time, to Jesus' second coming. Why? Because that's when Jesus is going to properly return and have a last judgment. And do what? And will be this great divide of people between the people going up to heaven and those who will not accept Jesus. You know what, Jesus. you said Jesus is going to stop everyone. I don't think he's going to slaughter them. Well, yeah. Your Bible says that. I think he's having that. What does Jesus say? I believe in hell. Oh, okay. you, like, you, you believe every word of Jesus, yes? So let's just nail that particular point and you can't hide behind it. Yeah. Right? What does Jesus say to those who don't hear your voice? When, I, when you were speaking to them, what does Jesus say? What, wipe your dust from your feet? And then what does he say? Because I never hear Christians quote this, you see. Whenever they say, whenever they're in an argument and they're getting defeated, this is not referring to you, they always say, wash the dust from your feet and walk away. Because what Jesus said to do, yes. and then Jesus says, because the fate of that person or that town on the day of judgment will be nothing compared to what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, but you. Know, you know, so we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. And Jesus says, what's going to happen to those people who won't hear you preach about them? Yeah, well, their fate will be worse. Than them. Yes, but as a Christian, I don't believe death is the end. I don't you, believe they're going to be wiped out of existence. You believe Jesus when he speaks yes. So when Jesus says that the fate of these people, like say you come to me, say you come to me preaching Christianity, and I reject the idea of Christianity, and when Jesus returns, my fate is going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. So I mean, basically, sadly, I do believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So basically, Jesus is going to kill everyone. Yes, but death is not the end. No, but he's going to kill physically everyone, yeah? Well, in the second coming, everybody's going to look at the end. So when, so when, okay, so I, I well, don't want to keep jumping points, but you keep, you keep bringing them up, so I like to go nuance into each one. So now, Sorry. So, so now, when Jesus kills everybody who doesn't believe in him, right, and you said that, that that's not the end, what happens to them after that? Well, you're an, you're an Abraham, Abrahamic monotheist. No, I'm asking you. Me. you so you, you believe, yeah, but you're an Abrahamic monotheist, and we don't believe that death is the end. We believe that part of the person lives on. Yeah, but you believe that if you don't believe Jesus is your saviour, you're going to hell. So what you're basically saying now is whoever doesn't accept Jesus is going to be brutally butchered whilst they're living. Yeah. And in their second existence, we're going to be in hell. That's what Christianity teaches. He's in love. It's only fair if you, if right. you reject... So this man of... No, no, no. If you, if you reject the creator of the universe, no, no. it's only fair that you don't get to spend eternity with him. No, no, but I don't, create, I don't reject the creator of the universe. I believe that you do. If you don't accept Jesus, I believe you're rejecting the creator of the universe. No, I reject your book that tells you that Jesus is the creator of the universe. That's what I reject. And I'll, I'll give you reasons why I reject Yes, and of course, and I believe you're wrong in rejecting that. Well, if you can, you got me, we can't. I've proven this contains forgery. How can you say I'm wrong? So you'd rather accept what a, a forged book tells you? I'd rather reject a forged book. I don't believe it's a forged book. I can get, and you are dodging my question about Quran as well. Well, no, I like to stay on point. Yeah, and dodging Wasn't, wasn't you the one that said like I'm answer. a convinced Christian? So I am a convinced Christian. Yeah, but I don't see what you're convinced by. You're convinced by a forged book, basically. No, I'm not. And a promise of paradise. That's what you're convinced by. No, yes, I'm not. Yes, it is. No, I'm not. I promise I'm convinced. Yes, the Could you be a convinced Christian without this book? Could you be a convinced Muslim about Quran? That's basically we, what you're asking could you me. Believe in the Old Testament, but we don't believe as could you? Huh? as a Muslim, as a New Testament. Could you? Yeah, of course I could. Okay. But you could be a convinced you... Muslim about the Quran, no, no. so it's a pointless no, 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 no. question. I could be convinced of the creator of the heavens and earth without the Quran. I can't be. I can't be. I can't be. I can't be. I can't be.
can be convinced that God is divided into three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are co-equal. Without this. No, you can't. No, I can't. No, I can't believe Jesus resurrected from the dead. Without this. No, but we touched on this at the right, start. Right, so the point is very simple. You, you, no, 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 no. The point is this. Your whole conviction is based on that forged book. Yes, but the Quran, would you accept the, that? the Quran is one of the pillars of Islam, which is much weaker than the Bible. It's a pillar of Christianity. Oh, oh, okay. Both are but... Right, both, let me deal with that. No, no. Both both are, no, 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 no. You put the Quran on trial, I'm going to put the no, bring the Quran on trial. I just say one thing. Both Christianity and Islam. Christianity is based on Jesus and the Bible. I believe that it, I would say the Quran is based on Muhammad and the Quran. Both our both religions rest on these two pillars, and the two pillars of Christianity are far more solid than the two pillars of Islam. Right. Have you read the Quran? Um, I've read various things, no, but I've never read the whole thing. So you're judging the book you haven't read, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> How can you judge the book you haven't read? Because I've read little, little things about it. Right. You've read what Nabil Qureshi said about it. And what Do you believe Nabil Qureshi was a Muslim? Yes. Why? Because he claims to have been a Muslim Do you believe Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians? No, because they don't. Do you believe Mormons are Christians? I don't believe Cardiani's and Ahmadiyya's are Muslims because of their belief of Prophet after Muhammad's Okay. Right? So can you, can so just as you believe, the way you look at a, a, a Mormon or a, a Jehovah's Witness, is the same way you look at Cardiani's and Ahmadiyya's. Yeah? Nice people, whatever, but I don't see it as Muslim Islam because of the Prophet after Muhammad's Okay. All right. So, so he was. He doesn't negate criticism to so come no, up. No, but can he claim to be a Muslim if he was an Ahmadiyya Cardian? If you say no, then I'll take it. Right. So he lies. Because he knows he's lying. Because he knows it's not accepted by Orthodox Islam. What his but belief was. He does make clear in the start of his book that he was part of a uh, uh, minor sect of Islam. No, it's not a sect of Islam. It's outside of Islam. It's not a sect. A sect is different ideas and views and points. This is completely out of the fold. Anyone says the messenger after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, out of the soul. You can't claim to be a Muslim in that. Yeah? Shia can still claim to it through bits and pieces, but when you say a prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's nearly fine. Yeah? So just the way you reject Jehovah's Witnesses and such, we reject Cardinalis and such. Yeah? So he knows that, yet he lied pretending to reject Muslim, like as if he'd been convinced by the truth, as if he was some practicing Muslim. Right? Anyway, is it by the Bible? Okay. So we've agreed this is a forged book. Now you made a. No, we have but we'll move on. We'll move on. Oh, 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 sorry. Would you accept that a book contains forged verses? Can we, 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 no, 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 because I have established our point and we continue. Or if you don't accept the point, we'll question why you don't accept the point. So if a book contains forgery, would you not say that book is, contains forgery? Yes. Forged book then, isn't it? Does it mean the whole thing is forged? Well, you want to know what is and what isn't. How do you know what is and what isn't? We've been over this point and we've agreed to disagree, we agree to disagree on it. We haven't been over the point. We've established that it contains forgery, which we accept. John 1, 5, 7, 16th century. All Christians believe the Bible contains some bits of forgery. That does not mean that it's forgery. No, no, what, what it means is your whole conviction of Jesus dying is for your sin so based on this book. There are so many different versions of the Quran as well. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> please, please don't even. You're, You're not in a position to go to that particular <laughs> topic. You're not. I'm not. No, You're really not. not. Yeah. You want to talk about dialects and words and aruf? You don't want to go there. Yeah. So this, this, this J. Smith 26 Quran nonsense is exactly what I said. It is nonsense. Yeah. Go online. You can't just claim something's nonsense. about the evidence. Okay. Everybody here, go online. Go Google. Everyone's got Google. 26 Qurans refuted. Go watch it. And then you question whether it is 26 Qurans. And then first understand what Muslims mean when we say there's only one Quran. Understand that principle first. Yeah. And then you can move on. Learn about the dialects and how people are reciting in different uh, modes. Yeah, it's very, very technical. And no disrespect, this we ain't ready to go there. No, I'm not. so don't worry about that. So don't try and throw that red herring in right now. Okay. You said the Quran contains what was the word you used? Something abomination. What word? Um, I didn't say abomination. I you said did. demonstrable abomination. No, I said demonstrable falsehood. No, you said demonstrable. Did you say abomination? I didn't say abomination. Okay. Give me one example of falsehood in the Quran. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, the, yeah, you can. The, the, the scientific description of how the fetus falls in love is wrong. First thing. Right. Science. I know, I'm trying to look at the It's just a method of understanding. It's a way of trying to understand what you're doing. Right. The Quran is not going to be about science. Sorry, God. We're expected to get science correct. We're expected to say things wrong. I'm a scientific method which are wrong. 
Oh, 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 Specific yes, it does. It does generation, generation, generation. Yes, but and you, we, you have to work that out. It's not specific. Yeah, and what's the calculation? Like 6,000 years? Oh, do we need dinosaurs? Yes. Yeah. At the time of man? No. When did they exist? The Earth is only 6,000 years old. So if the Earth is only 6,000 years old, then dinosaurs exist. I don't believe the Earth is 6,000 years old. Well, the Bible says it is. Not specifically in a single sentence. You're doing, you're, no, you're no, I'm, no, 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 you are deflecting I'm doing what you did. No, you are deflecting your way from the Quran because no, you can't no, no. answer it. No, 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 I'll answer the Quran. I'll answer the Quran. No, 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 the only reason they did that because you said the Quran is scientifically wrong is if the Bible is scientifically correct. So I question that. Yeah, because we're talking about consistency. Yeah? Because you, you use a, a comparison that I've not mentioned about science. I didn't mention science in the Bible, did I? Right? Now you're trying to refute the Quran with science, but I didn't mention science, so it's not fair. So first we have to see if this is scientific. Why do you keep saying we have to address the Bible first? Why wouldn't you address it? Because you're the one who the stood there and said, I'm a convinced Christian. And I, I, I said, and I said, okay, that question will come to you. Yeah. You keep saying I am a Christian. You need to use uh, internet rather than emotional. Well. I just think it's unfair to use Christian Christianity when you don't even want to be able to question Islam. Because you can't use it. Every single thing about Islam is to accept it. You're not seeing the truth, except you might want to question it. How does me talking about Islam question you about being a Christian? It doesn't, I'm just trying to get you right, the same doesn't. stand as so, no, no, like no, Christianity to Islam. No, no, well, this is what you're doing, you're asking me to use a topic that does nothing to do with the subject. I'm asking you to be fair in your application of the evidence and the... No, 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 we're, we're, no, what we're doing, we're putting... We are putting Bible on trial. Yeah, because Dubai, this, this... You don't need to convince Christian because of this book, for no other reason. Now, I want to question why are you so convinced by it. And right now, we've conceded it contains forged verses. I've shown you Matthew 19.25 is also a, probably a forgery, which you accept, which you're not told it is. Yeah? So now we have no gospel saying baptized on nations of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We have no idea of a truth. That doesn't challenge any of No, no, no. Anyway, let's go back to what we're saying. So you believe dinosaurs existed? Yes or no? Yes. yes. You, and and there are, I, I haven't read the article, but right. I've seen many articles explaining where you can see dinosaurs in the Bible. Now, I've just used the method that you use to understand the Bible. Right? Because the method you use to understand the Trinity, you take a piece from here, piece from here, piece from here, piece from here, and you put it all together and say that means the Trinity. Yes? Right. All I did about understanding the age of the earth and Christians of Dan is the piece from here, the age of here, the, the who's here, generation here, blah, 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 and I come to the conclusion 6,000 years ago. Yes, but nowhere in the Bible does a statement make, does it make a scientific claim that that's the age of the earth. Right. But according to the genealogies, it has to be, it can't be more than that. You don't know the exact genealogies between. Well, you haven't believed what this says or you don't. No, between some parts of the old and new, we don't know if, if, if what we do don't you mean? know the exact gaps between all that. Okay, according to mainstream Christianity, would you like to quote these majority scholars and such? What do you think about the consensus? Yes. Right, the consensus according to the teaching of Christianity, the earth is 6,000 years old. So you're convinced that this book tells you the earth is 6,000 years old? You are comparing something which is not directly stated in the Bible with something which is directly stated in the Quran. I am giving you something which is directly stated in the Quran, which you have failed to respond to. No, 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 no. And you are taking something which is can be inferred from the Bible. No, no, no. You could use consensus. You could use consensus of the Christians. I can use consensus of the Christians because that's your standard. So the consensus of the Christians is the earth is 6,000 years old. Now, my question to you is this, do you believe dinosaurs existed 6,000 years ago? It depends on a matter of interpretation. Some people would take some of the bits of Genesis and say that they are a How old do you believe metaphorical and poetic description. I okay, would yeah. probably go for it being about 13.7 billion. What? Sort of scientific consensus, about 13.7 billion. That's the unit. I'm on with the unit. Oh, right, sorry, about 4.5. So you go against what the Bible says? No, because the Bible does not anywhere literally state that. So you're saying to me, the genealogies in this Bible can stretch 13.3 billion years? Or 4.5 billion years? You're saying those genealogies are 4.5 billion years apart? Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Alright, what are you saying? Who says that humans were there 4.5 billion years ago? That's not what I'm saying. No, the Earth. The Earth was created then, wasn't it? Adam was put on the Earth and after Adam was Cain and Abel. Da, 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 da. Yes, but it is possible to interpret Genesis as being a more poetic and metaphorical so when the Earth, So what you're saying to me is when the Earth was created, yeah? Adam wasn't created at the same time. We know that Adam was created on the sixth day, and it's possible not to take the sixth day. I personally 
many Christians will disagree with me. I personally don't take a six days to complete your education. Liz, I'm not interested in what your opinion is. I'm interested in the consensus of the Christians. That's and your it, standard. And, no, and this is a topic of immense debate. What's your standard? I was at a conference yesterday full of Christians who agreed with me and didn't follow for 6,000 years. It, it varies. But consensus, you said. You used the word consensus as your standard. I did use the word Right, so, so why are you against the consensus now? Because it doesn't suit your where's, where's, mind. Where's I agree your, with you. Where is your evidence that that is, that is the Christian consensus? My, my personal experience is that Christians are very evenly split between the, on this Listen, issue. I was in a debate with a Christian the other day, a moderated debate, and he was clear on camera telling me that dinosaurs went on Noah's Ark. <laughs> because that's what you have to accept. Dinosaurs went on Noah's Ark. I don't know. Well, but... But what I do know from my own experience is that the old earth creationists and the, the new earth creationists are very evenly right. split. So you can't necessarily use consensus Let's on Let's come to the Quran. You said it's demonstrably untrue. Parts of it are demonstrably untrue. I told you, one of the features of the What does it say? It says, I think it's the bone stolen and then the flesh, which is not true. Okay. First of all, do you know what the word thumma means? So why are you using the Quran then if you're not using the word? I'm using the translation. Okay, what's the word for the translation? Right. So you don't know? And yet you're using this as your evidence? Address point. Is that what the Quran says? No. The thumma can refer to past, present, or future. It can be simultaneous, it can be uh, prior, it can be all three. It isn't an issue. And if you want to go deep into this, because I have a doctor friend who's looked at this, and it's not that you didn't have to refer to the actual physical thing, you're talking about the cells as they start to appear. Yeah? If you look in that angle, it is correct. But we don't use the, we don't need science to match the Quran. You know that. Because science is transitory. Yeah? Because Yes, but if you've got God, he's not transitory. No, 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 no. True. No, no, no. But the point is this, if I try to say the Quran is a book of science and look it matches this and it matches that, the science changes. That means the Quran's wrong, isn't it? But throughout the throughout but Science is not my standard. Because science is just yesterday's favourites. Yeah? Simple as yes, that. But not 